Hi guys and welcome to part 25 of ASP.NET MVC Core Tutorials and on this part we are going to learn about the view components. We are going to use a view component for displaying details about our shopping cart like the amount of items that we have on the shopping cart. So for that let us create a new folder which we are going to name components. So we write components. So now inside this folder let us create our first view component which is going to be a simple class. We name it shopping cart summary and it's very important that each component inherits from the view component base class. We are going to import the necessary namespace. This view component is going to interact with the shopping cart. We need to inject that to our constructor. So here we inject it to our constructor and for each component we need to create a new action of type I view component result which is automatically used each time our component is invoked. So inside the invoke, we first need to get all the items and we get all the items by using the shopping cart injection that get shopping cart items method. Then we assign these methods to our shopping cart, shopping cart items property. And to display the data to our view, we are going to use a view model which we have already created on previous part, which is this one, shopping cart view model. So let's go back to our view component. And in here we write var shopping cart view model. View model is equal to new shopping cart view model and we import the necessary namespace now we assign our properties the shopping cart is going to be our shopping cart and the next property the shopping cart total is going to be the shopping cart that get shopping cart total and at the end we return the view with shopping cart view model as a parameter so we have created the view component, but for the data to be shown to the user, we need to create the view and all the view components need to be put only on one specific location. So for that, we create a new folder inside the views shared folder. We create a folder and we name it components. And inside the components folder, we need to create a new folder, which has the same name as our view component, which is shopping cart summary so we create the new folder shopping cart summary and at last we need to create the view inside this folder so we create the view and we name it default.c sharp html next we need to declare the model for this view so the model is going to be the shopping cart view model and next I'm going to paste some code from my GitHub repository and provide the link down below on the description section for you as well. I remove this part since we are going to learn about the authentication later. So in case we don't have any shopping cart items inside our shopping cart, we don't need to display the icon. The shopping cart will be shown everywhere. So for that we need to use it inside the layout page. So we are going to place our shopping cart information on the navigation bar. So for that, let us go to the bootstraps homepage and in here, go to the getting started, then basic template and open this file to check the code for this one, right click and view the page source and copy paste the navigation bar section. Now let's go back to our project and we paste it in here. For now, we are going to remove all the navigation tabs because we are going to talk about them more on the upcoming parts. We replace the project name in here with drink and go. So to invoke our component inside the UL tag, we write await component dot invoke async. And here we need just the components name, which is shopping cart summary. So let us now run the application to see if everything is working fine. So the application runs successfully. We see our navigation bar, but we don't see our shopping cart. And that's because we have already put a condition inside the default.csharp HTML, which says that the shopping cart needs to be rendered only when we have shopping cart items. 
so let's go back to our shopping cart summary and instead of getting the shopping cart items from the database i'm going to add two empty dummy shopping cart items now we run the application one more time and here at the top of the application you will see the small basket with a number two don't worry for the moment about the design because we are going to work more on it later what's important in here is that we actually see the basket which is coming from the default C -sharp HTML file this Glyphicon shopping cart and the number on the right which is two for the moment it's coming from the shopping cart items dot count so this is all for this part thank you for watching and see you on the next part